everyone, Sabirashi here and welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna try out this super cheap watercolor set from the action. I think it was around 1 euro and 60 cents or even less. And you know I love trying out cheap art supplies. So here we go. The container felt like a super cheap plastic, but I didn't expect anything else to be honest. There were also some stains on the plastic, which I couldn't get off. This box has 18 different colors in watercolor pans, plus a small brush. So it really is like my Winsor Newton watercolor set. I was slightly confused by the name Hooker's Green. So I did a little Googling. Apparently the name has its origin from a botanical illustrator and author William Jackson Hooker. He created a special pigment for painting leaves, thus the name Hooker's Green. Well, the more you know. Back to the watercolor set. Let's see what the brush looks like. Well, that is quite pathetic. <laughs> there are even some loose hairs and the brush is not in the best shape. I always use my aqua brush anyway, so yeah. But this brush does not look good. Even my camera didn't want to focus on it. I'm sorry. Let's move on to the color swapping. I always think this is the most fun part. Often the colors in the pan do not represent the actual colors, so let's see. At first glance, the colors do look good, though I had to get into the pan quite a bit to get the color out. I also noticed the green colors look very similar to each other. However, I do like the gray color they've added in this set. That often is a color which is missing from a set, and of course you can make it yourself, but if you have 18 colors, why not add a gray? And even the white seems to work okay. And I think my favorite colors are the blues and the pinks, because they are super vibrant. They are often also the easiest colors to create. But yeah, the greens were actually a little bit disappointing. But yeah, let's move on. So let's do a test painting. I already filmed this in May and then it was mermaid, so I got a little mermaid sketch ready to be painted. I already drew the line art, so we can focus on the coloring. I love mixing up colors and creating a skin color did work out well with the provided colors. Creating a skin color is not always easy, so try out the color on a different piece of paper before you paint your actual drawing, just in case the color is not what you hoped for. Always test your colors. As you can see, I even made a little mistake because I wasn't patient enough. I blopped on a big piece right in her face, but it was the paper was still wet, so it spread out like crazy, but it's okay. You can quickly undo your mistake by using some kitchen paper. Just do it before the paint dries. I made a quick color scheme on a different piece of paper and I decided to go for bright pink hair. I think that would suit her well. The pink color is super vibrant and fun to work with. I might overdid the line art just a little bit. <laughs> it has many details in her hair, but I was just in a flow when I did the line art and I actually wanted to create a simple drawing, but it turned out a little bit more detailed than I thought. For her lovely tail, I decided to use as many colors as possible from the set. 
I went for a nice gradient tail, going from blue, green, yellow to orange. It gave her some rainbow vibes and I love me some rainbows. I added more details by roughly painting on some scales. Not too many, I want to keep it simple. And we move on to the background and I just wanted to give it something special and lately I have liked drawing and painting bubbles so I gave it a go and added some bubbles on the background too. I think they turned out very pretty and they are so fun to paint. And here you go, she is finished. The paint did what it was supposed to do. There could have been a little bit more pigment in all of them and especially in the greens and the yellows. But hey, what do you expect for just one euro and 60 cents or something like that? The paints did work out better than expected, I can say that. And also after two months, the paints are still bright. So sometimes very cheap paints do fade a little, but these are still as bright as when I painted them. Um, yeah, but just make sure to use another brush. I can recommend an aqua brush because yeah, that is my favorite type of brush because they're so easy to use and you can also take those with you and yeah, they're, they're great. <laughs> Well, that is it for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you ever come to the action and see this set, well, maybe just give it a go and try it out yourself and let me know what you think of it. Anyway, enjoy your day and stay safe. And hopefully I will see you in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.